hello guys welcome back so now in this video you will learn how to connect your flutter project with firebase for the ios so you will learn the complete ios configuration with firebase for the flutter in this video so just search for firebase console and click on this firebase console google or you can come here directly by typing this url console.firebase.google.com open up your firebase project and then here you will see this option which is basically the add app button you can say okay this add app button just click on this add app and you will see ios just click on this ios and here we have to provide our bundle id now from here we can get that okay so let's just open up your flutter project here you can see the ios module if you open up the ios module inside the runner we have this info.plist file okay when you double click on this info.plist file you will see this suggestion which is open ios module in xcode just click on this open ios module in xcode button now it will open up our this entire ios module in the xcode so let's wait for it it is loading trust and open so you can see it has opened the iOS module in Xcode as you can see that. Now the next thing is inside the Xcode inside the Xcode you will see this runner just click on this runner and you will see this screen. Now here inside the runner you will see the display name for your iOS app so you can of course set the display name that is I will call it TikTok clone app and then here is the bundle identifier okay which is this one so all you need is you need to just copy this in order to copy this bundle identifier you have to click here on the sign in and capabil capabilities tab okay we were on the general so click on sign in and capabilities and you will see here now here you will see first of all this team from the team you can click here and choose your name in my case it is my macbook so i will choose my one that is muhammad ali and then here is my bundle identifier i will just copy this bundle identifier okay just copy this and then come back to the browser and inside the browser i can simply paste that and then I will provide my, the nickname for my app I will give it name as iOS app and then click on register app and click on this download google services info.plist file we have to download this so just click on it in order to download it it has been downloaded successfully if we go to the downloads then here you can see this is the file now this file we have to place it in a safe place for example we will place it inside our project folder as you can see here i have my project okay which is tiktok lawn project now inside my project here you can see ios module inside the ios module i can move it from the downloads to my ios module of tiktok lawn just like this so simple and so easy now the next thing is now the important thing is where we have to add this to our Xcode okay that is it will automatically create references okay so if you come here to the browser then they have give us an example that is we have to add it where we have our info.plist okay so inside I mean you can say below the info or in the same tab where we have info and all, and all these things so that is simple you know if you go to your let me just minimize this if you go to your xcode okay if you go to your xcode then inside the xcode below this runner below this runner we have to paste it that is we have to drag it from here okay let me tell you from our ios tiktok clone app module as you know it is now inside here so we have to drag this from here to below this runner as you can see just like this and leave it here now you will see you will see this pop up make sure that these things are selected and then click finish so you can see that it is now inside this runner inside this 
runner where we have our info and all these things as you can see okay so inside this runner we have our google services info file so we have moved it successfully so now you can of course close this ios module folder and then next thing is so now we have to just close the xcode okay so close the xcode okay and then come back to the browser and then click next and then click next and then of course click next and continue to console so now our app is connected our flutter project is connected with the firebase for the ios okay that is ios app configuration has been done successfully now if we come back to the project to our flutter project then inside our flutter project now we are basically going to test our application so for that purpose i will simply open up the iphone that is the ios simulator so it is opening now so it is opened successfully and now we are ready to test our application on our iphone 14 pro max so let's just install the app on our iPhone. So it is now installing. So as you can see the app is running now. So we have successfully connected our Flutter application with the Firebase for the iOS. That is we have done the iOS configuration for Firebase successfully in this video. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.